Hello everybody, I'm Jesse on, and welcome back to some more Stellaris with our Galactic Pollyanna Cartel, our parrot people. Complete. Just uh, right now, not much going on, we set up a new sector, which unfortunately seems to be like missing some, some stuff. <laughs> just sort of like they're missing power generation which like that's okay like I can just dump in more power complete. when they need it and which is also fine because it means we'll stop running into our cap all the time because if we hit our cap we can just dump another or X amount into the sector, and I'm fine with that. Makes me feel all right about building up some more, uh, building up some more energy credits. I'm surprised these guys haven't actually tried to uh, squash us yet. So, <coughs> oh geez. Let me just cough instead of actually saying anything. Um, so I decided that I'll just keep playing this one until we get a big patch. There is a minor patch coming in. Um, but I'll just keep playing this, this match until then. And then after that maybe we'll create a new game. Alright, so we need four. I'm gonna build four more Corvettes. And then we'll hit our force limit. And we'll call that good. And you know, to be honest, we might just keep colonizing and blobbing out everywhere. I kind of don't feel that's a bad thing at all. Like, maybe we can create a... We'll, uh, perhaps colonize over here and then, uh, build another sector of these three. Oh, an anomaly. We haven't seen one of those in forever. An abandoned ship has been left to drift aimlessly above this planet. Massive sails protruding from its hull suggest that it relied on solar power to function. Sure, research that. Haven't run into an anomaly in forever. Apparently they have a halo. This is, I'm just looking around at the Fallen Empire. Apparently they just have a halo. I assume this one is as well. Yep. Yeah. These are destroyed bits. We've discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Cherton 2. 
The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. So we get some engineering research. You build, you build a colony ship. That's weird. Why are these guys collectivist? Collectivist are the um, the people that are okay with slavery. Like they basically expect to be slaves. It's a weird one. Survey of Churton 4 has revealed that certain regions of the planet are home to a primitive alien proto-civilization. Our probes show that their Neolithic culture has mastered fire and developed a rudimentary spoken language, but we have yet to see any evidence of metallurgy or written communication. See, now that's interesting. System survey complete. Like, we could uplift them, which I kind of want to do right now. Construction ship. Oops. A small celestial object with pronounced gaseous and particulate tails was recently observed in the Grakar system. Its passing was uneventful. Acknowledged. That's the comet. It means different things to different groups. It's kind of funny. That's, that's one of the things that I do like. Build a frontier outpost over here. Construction complete. Anomaly found. Anomaly found. Research that. All right. What are you doing? All right. Go over here. Exploring out of the edge of space here. So let's see here. All right, yeah, 80, what was it, 66 to 83? Was it? I don't know, I'm gonna watch this number here, see what happens. So we'll just watch this, so 83, so it'll either be 22 or 11, I think. Oh, deep scans seem to have triggered some kind of caspicating power failure in the ancient shipyard orbiting. It blew up in a spectacular explosion. Eighty-three to one oh six. That sounds kind of weird. Hold on a second. I'm gonna putting that on pause, and then um. Pull up my calculator, which is somewhere on my phone. 106 minus 83, 23. Okay, so this number indicates how many resources they have going into their own stockpile. Which means that 22, there must be like 22 of it going into our stockpile. Yeah, so we see the numbers here change. 50% is fine. And it was 23 because it was like 22.85, because paradox decimals. Hmm? Embassy recalled? Alright, whatever. I remember the very first game of this that I played, I just chose like a human thing, 
And there were like, there were no colonizable planets around me at all. And so I had to actually build frontier outposts a whole bunch. And it kind of sucked. I was like, gee, why is the... <laughs> Why are there no colonizable planets anywhere? System explored. Oh, excuse me. And wait, no. Survey this system. We'll play around with the uplifts and see if we can do anything with them. I've done um, enlightenment before. You have to enlighten a it's like a like an atomic age or whatever race, and it's supposed to like you know give you a vassal and add a whole bunch of influence. But it gives you a really angry vassal. They really don't like you, which is weird. I think like I heard that's a bug, and that's going to be fixed in the next patch. But as of right now, if you enlighten a uh, you know a primitive say primitive they're like our level of technology now but you uh, enlighten a primitive and they're just like they, they're mad they don't like you um, but I hear that the uplifting which is changing genetic structure and making them bringing them fast up up to our or you know, almost our level, gets you an actual good um, vassal. And it's funny that there's vassals in this game. This is just, it's just so paradox. There we go. our construction ship at. Yeah, Alright, it's getting close. It's going to start building. This is almost done building. The uh, colony ship. What is this? Unemployment. Alright, get to work. Let's get you something to do. Yeah, you know what? It's power plant time. You got planetary administration, right? Yep. Everything's good. Do we want a power plant or do we want a science lab? Or do we want a mineral network? Yeah, you know what? Power plant. Alright, where are we at? Go to... Yo, research this project. Colony ship. Can go here. Colonize this planet. Right there. System survey complete. Having searched the ship and inspected the crew's menanes, the science officer has deduced that the crew members must have killed each other. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think I know what's going to happen next. Yep. We're receiving a distress signal from the glide. The crew has gone mad at her killing each other. The captain has lost all control. Sending help would be futile at this point. Could this have anything to do with that derelict ship that was recently investigated? So a glide blows up. Goodbye. <laughs> it's kind of about what I expected would happen. I've run into that one before. Scientist died. Research complete.
Okay. And at the end of the month, it should be fully grown. Pop. There it goes. So this, immediately upgrade. Anyway, this, Mineral Silo 2. Wow, you haven't had anything Another built here yet? Found. Oops. Mining Network 1. And then you also build Mining Network. So we produce 20.4, this produces 4.8, so if we get rid of this then we'll actually lose more, so there's no reason to do that, so we have to leave it. We had our force limit yet? Construction complete. We're like one shy, I'd build a um... I'd build a destroyer if I could, but we're like one shy of being able to do that. Finish surveying that system. The event should be over. We shouldn't have to worry about it anymore. Situation log updated. our colony ship, yep. Apparently there's nobody over here, we just need to just blob out over here. Special project complete. Just waiting, looks like. Put that up on fast. We're gonna fast it up. Also, I think I said, I don't know if I said this, um, in the next patch you will be able to just mess with your, um, mess with your sectors from right here in the outliner. That will be nice. Oh, hey, look at this. They're actually gaining slightly some credits. I wonder how that happened. They must have built a power plant. So we kind of don't have to worry about them. We can just leave them here, research focus. They'll do pretty all right on their own. We've almost finished building this, so we may be able to uplift the people. Magnetic field of Dread M5 experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed. This rare event has interchanged the positions of the planet's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it, recorded, it was all recorded by the sensors of our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of data. 150 physics research. So, let me look at this here. I think it's this planet has the primitives. All right, hold on. Well, 
will speed surveyed system. Yeah, new system more borders. Complete. Ship upgrade crossed minus 15% sounds pretty good. Extra leaders. We're almost at our limit of leaders. I guess maybe we'll take this one. We do get a bonus for it. So let me figure out if I can figure if I can get this um Okay, species. Yeon Avian Duwixla. That's, I don't think that's it. Anomaly found. Um, basically, it doesn't say anything. It says there's, it's just a, just says that there's a Stone Age primitives on this planet, but doesn't tell us like what they do. Is it, is, is it just the wildlife? Like, where are they? I done get it. What's the point then? Sigh. Do I have to build a dude? Do I have to build a thing? It's like. Oops, oh crap, no, 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 return. Construction ship. Like, we well, you just build a research station, is that it? No observation post? Do I just build a research station? Is that what it do? Construction complete. I was just confused. Um, let's go ahead and create a new sector, actually. Any factions? No factions. System survey complete. Create a new sector. Research complete. Yeah, we'll call that good. Give them a leader. Do we want the agrarian one? Or the uh, clear blocker one? Is it clear blocker? Yeah. I think we want the agrarian one. So they're losing a bit. You know, we'll give them a. We'll give them 500 to get started. I'm sure we'll give them like. Construction complete. Give them 500 minerals as well to get going. Just to jumpstart them. Like, I am wondering, what do I do about these primitives? Like, are Stone Age people just hopeless? We can't... We can neither uplift 
nor enlighten them? <laughs> Are they just there to give us social research? <laughs> Is that really all they do? That's just kind of dumb, if that's what it is. Construction complete. I'm going to build a new construction ship. And then you know what? I'm going to build another colony ship. Who died? Oh, you died. Wow, alright. Hey, welcome to in. You're still level 3. Level 3, uh, governor. You're fine. Colony established. If anything, these just give me like less I have to mic micromanage, and I'm not sure how much I enjoy that because I do enjoy micromanaging. Kind of weird that way, I know. You know what? Yeah, build research stations. Planetary power grid. Energy storage capacity up, and then power hub up. Power hub level up. Or we can get level 2 point defense. I mean, we still don't have any problems with m money right now. Except, like, we could use it. We could use more storage capacity. We'll go with that. Hey, there, that's what we like. Um, yeah, cruisers? Give me cruisers. And in the meantime... Upgrade these. So we need some of this. Here we go. Let me check. So we have fire rate 20%, chance to evade 15, weapons damage 20. Which, oh, that's, I'm sure it costs something to upgrade. Trip pull points. Fire rate, it's, this is kind of just like everything. It's kind of better. Provided that, you know, it doesn't decide to turn on us. Save. Yes. And then our destroyer. We do the same thing. It's at minus 10. So we'll have to replace... We'll replace one of these shields with the... Uh, I'm sure this will be... Yeah, it gives us like overkill now. I bet if, uh, I bet this will, oh, it gives us exactly zero. We'll save. And then guess what? You're going to be upgrading. Worth it. We've got a new construction ship. We'll have it start by uh, constructing research stations on these planets. Do 
I want to just colonize this world? It's actually a pretty good world. Research complete. But you know what? I think uh, we're going to call it here for now. Um, thanks for watching. I'm Jesse on. This is Stellaris, and I'll see you next time.